and I'm back. Ah! And Kita, and Kita, back again. Why am I calling myself that? I don't know. I am a man. Hello. Stupid Makita Mac pack boxes. Hello. Listen to me. I found some saws I forgot about. I hope you don't ever forget about them. These are fantastic saws. They're great, frankly. Great, frankly. They're tremendous. They're tremendous saws. Tools, tools. I think there are 349 types of saws, but these three saws, how many times can I say saw? These are fantastic saws. Can't forget standard hacksaw. 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 Blake is still, you put a new blade in. That's all you do. It's for hacking. You can hack things, right? Hacksaw. And you can cut metal, cut conduit, you know, cut the PVC. You can cut wood with it. Uh, it's not efficient for it, but I'm not all about efficiency. I usually use it for cutting metal, cutting pipe. That's what I do when I lay pipe. Usually cut it with a hacksaw. That's what I do. Sometimes I gotta lay pipe. I'm a guy, you know. The more you know, right? I hate cars. Hacksaw. Kind of reminds me of that movie, Hacksaw Ridge. You know, with that guy, these two guys, one of them, uh, Jake something. They were, they were sheep farmers, they were cowboys. No, they were really, Hacksaw Ridge, they were cowboys. They get a job watching the sheep, they were herding the sheep. They're herders, they're sheep herders, basically. Hacksaw Ridge, yes, they're sheep herders. One of them, uh, what's that guy's name? Jake, uh, Jake, uh, Jake, Jake Mendenhall. Jake Mendenhall. Jake Mendenhall was in that, and he was in that movie, uh, you know, that one where he's on that plane, he keeps dying on that plane. He goes in, he dies, they come in, put him back in, he dies again, he come in, put him back in, he dies again. Come to find out he wasn't dead. He was alive the whole time. They had a folded up in some sort of little box. Jake Mendenhall. He's with that other guy. One of the actors died. What was his name? I think he partied too hard. I think that's what happened, but he was pretty good. Um, he played the Riddler in that one movie. What was that? He was the Riddler, basically. He was pretty good, too. He's best Riddler. Hacksaw Ridge. See the movie. Hacksaw Ridge. Hacksaw. Another saw, similar to the hacksaw, but in a weird blowout, sort of short bus way, you got, got, you got one of these coping saw. Now look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Look at that blade. Blade, blade, blade. Look at that blade. It's fantastic. You know what? Blade is flexible. Flexible blade. You know, because you got to be flexible to cope. That's what I'm drawing from it. It's really a metaphor for life. Got to be flexible to be able to cope with things. Seriously, in all seriousness. Ser 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 seriously, in all seriousness. <coughs> yeah. Yeah. What? 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 In all seriousness, you can cut trim with this. I found you can cut your fingers pretty easily with it too. But uh, great for cutting little trim, little trim pieces. Sometimes I use my chop saw, my miter saw. You know, miter with different angles. A little bit of different angles. Watch out! Kind of like that. With this, you can make nice little cuts. And the nice thing is, you know, you're doing it all by hand. I do it by hand. So, you know, it's basically a hand job. So go here, you can cut. You can keep good control on it, right? You can do this. I don't know why you would, but why not? You can carry it on the job site like that. You can do that. No, don't do that. Coping saw. You can angle the blade, yo, blade, yo, blade, yo. That's pretty cool. Fantastic. Coping saw. Hacksaw. There's even a, a wrestler named after Hacksaws. Is it ha Hacksaw? Hacksaw Jim Duggar. He's third cousins with Hulk Hogan's daughter's best friend's pool boy's part-time nanny, I guess. So that's that's cool. He's got a finishing move, man down or something. Now I, at his age now, I think it's probably more like man down and can't get up. He had one old glory, but it's more like a past glory. I don't know, old torn knee or something, old blown knee. That's probably his new move. And the man down can't get up because he's like in his 70s. It's incredibly old, by the way. I think I might be in the 50s soon, so I think it's pretty much over, and then what's the point? So I've only got a little bit of time left to do these videos. People will be like, remember that guy he used to do that thing? He's so old now. He doesn't do, any, doesn't do anything anymore, so that's me. Hacksaw. Hacksaw Jim Duggar. He's a wrestler, or he was. Are there any tongue wrestlers? Tongue re Is that a thing? Tongue wrestlers? Tongue wrestlers? Tongue wrestlers? There's thumb wrestlers. Hacksaw. Hey. Grinder. This is R. Kelly's favorite tool. He don't see nothing wrong. He don't see nothing wrong with it, apparently. My mind's telling me no, but my body's telling me yeah, hey, hey, hey. Uh. Right, Grinder. R. Kelly's favorite tool, Grinder. Sounds right. <laughs> maybe, uh, maybe the Forstner bit is another one he likes. The Forstner, Forstner bit, Forstner bit. Maybe he likes that too. Maybe, 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 maybe. Just a thought. Hey, 12 volt nation. Anyone thinking of buying a 12 volt drill? I found the perfect use for a 12 volt drill. There you go. The more you know, eh?
problem solved. Knowledge, 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 knowledge. Really, in all seriousness, there are some things you can do with a 12-volt drill. You can, uh, for example, give them away as party favors at your six-year-old's birthday party. You could maybe give one to your wife on an anniversary or a birthday. You can use them as wheel chocks, you know, or you could use, use a 12-volt drill in a video as a prop, uh, but far enough away so people can't tell that you're not using a real drill. It's a girl's drill. It's a lady's drill. It's a kid's drill. Stop kidding yourself. There you have it.